Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Arcanum. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today. Because we found a body with an unidentified axe. And I have crappy things on me. Gar? Yes, sir. I have things for you. Sorry. I know they suck, but yeah, I found I found an axe. I don't know what it is. I also found bronze barbarian clothes. Oh, I also found an emerald necklace. I can't take any of this. My god, I'm so bad. Okay, the axe I can take. But you can keep that. Oh, I can take those. Okay, that's not too bad. Because that means I can do this. And of course I'll be over encumbered. But we're trying to level... Oh, there's boots. Uh, but we're trying to level up our uh, in strength, basically. Yes, that's medium. Uh, what would you have? So you have barbarian clothes. Are these better? Noise penalty, minus 25. It's basically the same thing. Including weight, including resistance, it's basically all the same thing. So you can take that. That means I'm still... Mo How exactly? You are moderately... He's still... I don't understand. Eh, it's fine. So I don't know what that axe is. It's very slow. It's got a speed of 5, so it's pretty nasty. Um, it's pretty slow. So I'll leave it for later, I suppose. I'm not going to give it to Gar, because otherwise he's just going to use it, because he's crazy like that. Uh, and, uh, we have, oh yeah, we have plenty of creatures that seem deadly. That guy's on to me. It's a Frigidon, which is a special brand of fridges here, exclusive to Arcanum. The ma the magicians hate it, because they say that it wrecks their magic, because of all the technology. They seem pretty upset, and that's a kill. Okay. I would have preferred getting the kill all myself, but there's another Frigidon over there. Let's see if we can hack into it, or whatever people do to fridges to make them not work properly. Only smart fridges really get hacked, though. Hi. Okay. Well, I got a hit. I also got hit. Hmm. There's a lot of these guys. Okay. Is that it? No. Definitely. Okay, there's... Oh no! I moved. And of course, I'm gonna pay for it. I got it. The guy apparently is not fighting me. That's the way to show those bastards. It is. I mean, good hit, sir. Thank you. Who exactly are we fighting? Oh, there's this guy. Okay. No, that guy sees us. Oh, yeah, it's a bad idea to turn into real time and turn based after, because. It doesn't quite work like I want it to. Gar is getting himself up. And now I think he's getting beat. No, that was... That was Jaina. Okay, getting these kills is very important because we are... I really want to be able to use the elephant gun. That was terrible. Had to move closer. And he's dead. Okay. Good. But I want to find all these dead bodies over here. Because this is looking very good. I also am not looking... Oh, no, wait a minute. This... We're... Oh, this is cool. <laughs> this is cool. So we're actually going through the mountain. Manually. Do you see that? Because there's no map, so I can't look at the map. But that doesn't mean I... I, I that, that basically means that we have to pass through here. Manually, all the time. Every time I want to uh, to get through. Okay, where am I? Can I shoot this? Can I shoot this? Yes, I can. Very good hits, sir. There it is. It's pointless. Don't don't heal me. Don't heal me. And we got timber wolves. There it is. Getting those hits in. All very important for the experience. All very important for the level ups, so I can become stronger. And I can use my elephant gun. I wonder what this does, if there's anything like... It'd be a cool thing to have a fate point and just permanently boost one of your stats. Because that actually doesn't seem to be too game-breaking. I don't know why they didn't do it. Maybe they didn't think of it like that. Because fate points are a specific thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. No, that's not gonna happen. Yeah, not very smart. Not a very smart cookie there. Uh, I can, however, give Jaina some bandages, and she's gonna take care of all the things. 
All of them. You Virgil, you dummy. Is she gonna fully heal me? Sort of. Not completely, but that's good enough for me. Okay, so moving on. Always this way, so I can't even monitor my progress. So always west, that's where we're going. So, yeah, I wanted to monitor my progress in the sense of I wanted to see where I'm actually going on the map. I should be, I should really be wearing my armor. I got all the shots. You guys have no need for experience. I don't think they have. Probably should monitor what Gar is getting and what he's learning and all that. Nice hit. Oh, who are we fighting? Oh, there's a gorilla. That's not good. And there it is. Okay. This is looking a little bit more open world-ish. Looking a little bit more forested as well, because that's where we're going, towards the forest. The glimmering forest, they say. Um, uh, yeah, we are there. We are there. I wonder what we're going to find out here. No, dang it. Get back into the world. There it is. Okay, good. Now, we got through that. We can go ma automatically, which is fantastic. We have Kintaro over there, which we are not going to visit right now. And the reason for that is because I want to go to the Ruby Glade. That's where we're going to fight some terrible creatures of death. Uh, and that's where we're going to get the quest that we are supposed to get to that dude in Stillwater that had... Kite Warriors, level 5. Man, you guys are everywhere, aren't you? I'm not really sure why I need to approach them. Can I really not? Oh, no. That was terrible. Oh, that was death, actually. Huh. Let's see what you guys have. 19 gold. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's fair. That's reasonable. It's reasonable. It's important to be careful here, though. In the Glimmering Forest. It does, yeah, I know it doesn't look very much like a forest, it just looks like a bunch of trees. Ooh, a small camp. No, no. I want to go there. No, no, not like that. Like this. They did this on purpose. You idiot, stop picking up stuff, Jaina. I know it's your expertise, but... Hmm. Oh, oh, lovely. Okay, well. The, the, oh, no. A fleshy mound. I have dealt with your kind before. Mm-hmm. Shot. 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 Real time here would be... Perfect. I dodge is kind of okay. And that's a kill. Thank you very much. Fleshy mound. You guys please go sure. away. Forever. I'll do it right away. Jaina is not going away forever. She's just healing me. She's a sweetheart like that. Can you please go away? Because I want to loot things. Sure. Thank I'll you. I'll do it right away. Okay. So what do we have here? We have a rusty axe, as would you'd expect, considering that these guys are guards of some kind. That's a sword. Yeah, this is sort of a caravan thing that got basically ambushed by a tree. <laughs> it's fleshy, so I suppose it's not. Uh, we have a little bit of money here. 124 money. And a nice suit that doesn't do nothing. And I suppose another noble here. Ooh, this one improves reaction. 20 reactions. It's basically the same as my current suit. Can I wear that? That's 20. How much is mine? Mine is 20 as well. Okay. Then we got an arcane chest. I have no idea what that means. What does, what makes it arcane? And this guy didn't have his dagger even out. It's just how badly, how bad he is as a guard. And also, he had a dagger? A guard has a dagger. That's, that's what he has. He's got a dagger. Well, they said it was a small camp, after all. I couldn't expect them to have rifles. Even though I should, that you would expect them to have rifles. That's actually something you don't see very often in um, in Arcanum. Rifles. They, it's like, even the I think the, even the guards are like sword fighting. Like in Tarant, I mean. Hmm. Might need, might need to put that to the test. Who are we? Venom hounds. Please don't. Oh boy. No, I didn't get tired. I just got knocked out. Jaina. She's going to be alright. She's healing herself. That's what she was doing. She's going to be fine. It's okay. Yeah, there it is. It's gone. There's lizards. It looks like, I don't know, a salamander or something. There's horses? 
Mm, that's a sheep. Ooh. Timber wolf. Shot. Ooh, what is that? That's a different thing. I will be able to tell what that is. I. It's a howler. Uh, that seems to be a werewolf. That's what that is. Sure. I'll do it right away. Huh. Well, moving on. This is not gonna go well. I'm sure in there. Yeah. But then again, I do have the super putrid rodents. The super um. Uh, super pistol. I'm so bad. Okay, screw that noise. I'm not. No, this that's too ridiculous. I'm not doing that. No, I need I need experience, and I and I need the Molotov cocktails as well. Cause the rags are hard to come by. Never mind that we just threw away a bunch of clothing over there. It's it's. Uh, mm. And besides, I, I want to see those hollowers again. I really need to take care of my stuff, actually. So I just I just was clicking. I need to take care of my uh, inventory. That's another hollower over there. That one is actually lasting for quite a while. Because I think... Yes, sir. I think I might be able to give you this. Of course. Might be able to give Magnus this. Yeah! And uh, just be moderately encumbered and not really extremely encumbered. Let's give it a try. So I can give you all of this crap. Including all of these. They're not very heavy. Uh, the emerald le necklace. No, he's gonna wear it. There it is. No, not that. This. Um, I suppose th th that that... I haven't heard the the sound. No, not the O oh, key. Yeah, I'm still moderately encumbered. It's because of the shield. I assume. It's not just because of the shield. Yes, sir. It's not just because of the shield. It's also because I'm carrying around the barbarian heavy blade over here. And he really wants that. He can't use it! You're... <sighs> Maybe without that? No. Yeah, well, you can't use that. You're gonna suck. That's your fault. Am I better? No, I'm still moderately encumbered. Man. Oh, the books are heavy as... Yes, sir. Stones. Still... Still moderately encumbered. I don't need that. Throw it away. Yeah. Somebody's gonna pick it up, isn't it? Yeah, aren't they? Well, leave it in the middle of nowhere. Okay, uh, what else? So I got... That, I got the Dwarven Chainmail, that might be a bit of a problem. Yes, sir. But, what? if I offload it, like a proper noble, I get lightly encumbered, and that's what was worrying me right there. Okay, good, good, good. Now I can shoot at my, dis at my leisure, not disposal, I was going to say disposal, but at my leisure, and uh, I don't need to fear too much stuff. I still have a shield, which is nice. It just allows me to go around wearing what I want to wear, like a normal person. Even though, actually, we are not getting too many encounters, which is not sort of nasty. At least I'm not getting poisoned. So, this looks like a pretty straightforward place. You just go in, and there's going to be statues, I'm sure. Or something. There's going to be things coming out of the ground for each of the statues that we're going to find. I see bones. Oh, that's the pedestals. The Great Ru- oh no, that's... Oh, there it is. The Great Ruby of Kauru is found. Heed this warning ere you ha you move around. He who walks without a, sh a sound shall pass the death beneath the ground. Um, yeah, I know your rhyming skills game. Oh, no. Um, yeah, all oh, these are easy. All tough cocktails. Please don't. Yeah, I'm not gonna drop them. I, I still don't understand what that is. I'm just not going to drop them, if that's alright with you, game. Please stop loading. I have seen these things already. It's fine. Now, that is fine. Oh, no, that is not. I am so out of here. Like, very out of here. Good. This is good. Okay. Please. D that was not. That's good. Okay. That's a pretty cool animation right there. And I can shoot four times. Thrice. 
Price is the word. Thank you for not killing this guy. Because that way I can shoot him. And they're all dead. Okay. Much better than dropping Molotov cocktails at their feet. And also didn't get experience, which is a, sh a shame. Or didn't level up. So, where's that death beneath the ground and things? Well, there's a half-elf noble. With a barbarian's heavy blade. That's the blade that... Uh... Ooh, this is better. Okay. it's good stuff. And I say this is How better. How can I help you? I say this is better because... You are gonna wear it. It's gonna be a little bit of a problem. Trading those things, but... I can handle. Really? Uh, put it over there. Thank you. Okay, and then I remove that. So you wear those, and everything is good. And I can drop those somewhere else. The unidentified gloves gloves are going to be a little bit of a problem. But I think that's a dread armor. That's like uh, that's the one like what is it that you want? You me? have, I think, dread armor. I think it might be. Let's give it a try. Hopefully, it's not like enchanted or something. No, it's something else. But whatever, it's fine. I need a dread ar I I needed a dread armor for for uh, for Virgil. Uh, for a uh, Gar, sorry. Uh, and we have an altar. Great ruby of Kalru. That's mine. No, no, don't start combat. Just want to see what this is. Also, I need to identify that, but that's fine. I'm lightly encumbered still. And it's not a normal altar. It's just a place where we steal that from, so that's also pretty nice. And it's quite clearly meant to, uh, to kill us all. I don't think it goes anywhere else. So I think success without my armor. Also, the elephant gun is is, is, is a little bit heavy. Uh, so, Kintaro, here we go. Mm -hmm. That's going to be nice. There it is. So, very far away. I probably should explore a little bit better, though. Let's stop that. Uh, let's go through here, and then through there, and explore new things. New and interesting things, because you never know. Also, keep my finger, my index finger on the R key because these guys show up. A great wiper that's now killing me because I moved like an idiot. Gina, please heal me. Thank you. Can't even talk to her while she's doing that. I'm, I have more bandages. That's, that's why I want to talk to her. Can you please stop? Thank you. How many do you have? You still have one? Man, it's good. Okay, moving on. Of course, getting all the experience is good, but I really need to pay attention to when I need to move. I don't think the game tells me. I think we've been over this. So, like, for example, here. It's a hit. And that's all I can do. Yep. Yeah. This guy doesn't have anything. I can wait for Jaina. She d she's done. Yeah, but it's good experience, though. We're almost leveling up, and that is going to be... Ooh. Nasty. Okay, uh, can I shoot? You gotta be kidding me. Well. So. Got one shot in. Yeah, we got a little bit of experience when, when they get, when they get, when they shoot. Oh, come on, don't heal your, each other. But again, these guys, I just... I need to be ruthless, absolutely ruthless with the positioning, because if there's a character of mine, there's a companion of mine right in front, there's no, uh, I can't, I, I will need to move, so it just move, moves me around, which is terrible. Oh, 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 wait, 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 what is that? Also, what is this? Basically a nasty swamp? Sure. Poacher's camp. I suppose there's nobody here? Well, well, well. 35 gold. Okay. 67 gold? Oh my god. 50 gold. Okay, okay. Well, that's that. That's I broke the game forever. What is wrong with the game? Why? What? Uh, it might be for a quest, but... Uh, well, this looks... Yeah, it looks to be an area. 
But how big is it? Well, because it might there might be other places. Okay, so we know that's outside of the world. That is not. So that is outside of the world. It seems to be pretty big. Let's keep going this way. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So that's just what it is right there. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah. It's just weird. Okay, let's get out. Huh. The things we find in the middle of the forest, eh? Okay, so to Kintara. Where is it? Kintara. Down there. Hmm. Okay. Who knows what we're gonna find? What else we're we gonna find? So we found a smell camp smell? A small camp. A poacher's camp. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna be able to shoot you. I'm gonna move over here, and now I'm gonna be able to shoot you. You got the kill. Hiccups as well. Always keep an eye. Uh, always keep a, a finger on the R key. We have a grizzly bear, and a, and it's cub. So I'm gonna shoot the, the cub first, because it's closer to me. It's not too bad. No, this is bad. Okay, we got some things around here. Coca leaves. I don't think I need those. I don't remember what they are for. I mean, in in the game. In real life, they're good for... Uh, I hear they're good for uh, teeth, toothache. Yeah, pretty good. We got death lanterns. Not love lights. Definitely not love lights. We have level 20 death lanterns. They are aptly name, named. They hurt. Oh, they die. Good stuff. There's nothing to loot, though. This is how I remember these forests. Definitely how I remember these forests. It's this sort of uh, this sort of environment. It's like there's yeah there's like interior houses and things. It's a pretty interesting area. Um, but uh, but it's just the, how the world is created. This is not an area. It's just the forests. It's like these covered areas that are like that. It's a sign we're getting close to Kintara. And here we are, in Kintara. And if I remember correctly, there's a lot of fighting. I know that I need to go in through there. In through there. I imagine I need to go in through here. Uh, but if I remember correctly, there's definitely a lot of fighting to get there. Oh, no, there's not. Oh, hi, guys. Hey, um, how's it going? I am very... I like Game Boy Advance and, and, uh, and technology in general. I, like... Give me a like a one of those things that you can make like a, a an electric batter thing. What I don't technology. I shout technology at them basically. That's what I was trying to say. Just trying to scare them off or something. Greetings, Outlander. Welcome to the Elven city of Kintara. Well, greetings to you. I could say farewell right away. Listen, dwarf and the elf guard thinly disguised as they disgust. No, he that wasn't very thin. That was that was quite fatly un, undisguised. All are welcome here in this place. Even you, with all of your hair. But you, but if you upset even one leaf in the sacred tree city, I will throw you from her walls myself. Are we clear? Good. You may pass. Well, it's a good thing that I didn't need to say anything, because he just made it all clear for himself. Just are we clear? Good. He didn't wait for an answer. And here we are, in the yeah, in this elven city. It's high above the canopies, and I think there's a there's a, a, an ending that shows like a concept art and. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a thumbnail of a video with with a, that concept art because it's pretty cool. Happy to meet you, says the guy. See, much much nicer than the guy downstairs. What can I do for you? See, see, very very nice people, all things considered. I uh, I have very little recollection though of how exactly to navigate inside the city, which, as you can tell, is not very big, but it's still it's still uh, quite far away. All the things. I think this is the main end, the main sort of sort of leader or something, and if I'm here, I'm newcomer, I'm, of course I'm gonna talk directly to the mayor, because that's what, what people do. Uh, but I'm, I'm gonna keep to the left and just uh, continue exploring. To the left and just see. Like I do in dungeons, basically, because it's basically a dungeon. Except without, you know, a black background. That's all the difference. Oh, hi! We got a dwarf wizard in here. Wait a minute! What? Hmm? What can I do for you? I didn't expect to find one of my dwarven blood here. And this is my home. What do you wish of me? 
Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, what are you doing in Kantara? What better place? That's very racist to me, actually, but sure, whatever. What very what better place to train in the ways of magic? Uh, so you're a mage. That's a bit unusual, is it not? I've been drawn towards magic for my entire life. Unlike most dwarves, I had no affinity for things of a technical or technological nature. Uh, why why do you live here? I am under a tutorial a tutorial agreement to my teacher, Wrath. Don't let his name be be played. It's, it's fine. He's he's a nice person. I don't remember if it's a, I don't I have no idea if it's a guy or or, or, a, or a girl. I am unable to leave until my contract is finished. Oh really? How long is this contract for? My contract runs until the ends of Wrath's life. In exchange for training in the magical arts, I agreed to serve him. But that bitter old elf can last another two, possibly three hundred years. Oh, uh, that's kind of, sort of, a bit of a problem, isn't it? Uh, why did you agree to such an interminable length of time? Well, it's not interminable, but whatever. No elf wanted to take a dwarf as an, as an apprentice. It was the best offer I could get. It wasn't bad at first, even Wrath was simply surly. Uh, when Ra Wrath was simply surly, over the past 50 years or so, he's become increasingly bitter and difficult to work for. I, I do not know what I will do if I can convince him to release me soon. Uh, why don't you just leave? I would never dishonor myself, so. The only thing that can release me besides his death is his word. Oh, perhaps I could convince him to release you. Oh, thank you for the offer, but your interference would only serve to anger him, which would lead to greater torment for myself and at his hands. Don't worry, I got 20 intelligence and I'm a master at persuasion, I think. Um, yeah, if you're certain, I suppose I'll be on my way then. Am I a master at persuasion? I'm actually gonna inquire him a little bit more there. I don't know if I'm a master. No, I'm not, I'm an expert. It's different, different things. I also need very, very fast to level up. Uh, I must depart. Well, there it is. Can't really do much there. Uh, but uh, it's interesting. Maybe we're going to meet this Wrath person and see what that is all about. But for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Arcanum. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching. And I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.